Today, I'm going to demonstrate just how easy it is to take the PowerPoint presentations you've worked so hard on and expand their accessibility by transferring them to Adobe Articulate, which are then ready to be published and shared on the internet on a number of platforms like YouTube, your learning management system, or your podcast host, Mixiv. If you already have a PowerPoint presentation that you are pleased with, then you're ready to transfer it to Adobe Captivate. Just open Adobe Captivate and click on Record or Create a New Project. Excellent! Now you'll see the New Project Options box. On the left, under Select, you'll see Software Simulation, Scenario Simulation, and Other. Because we're going to be using an existing PowerPoint presentation, we'll choose Other. Now we'll have four choices of project types. Because we're importing a PowerPoint presentation, we'll choose Import from Microsoft PowerPoint. Click OK. Now we'll get the familiar open dialog box. You'll want to find your file and click on it. Once you've found it, select it and click Open. Next, you'll see a Convert PowerPoint Presentation box. Here you can change the name of your project, change the size of your project, choose slides you want to include or exclude, and decide whether you want to import the slides with their animation or as simple background images. If you choose to bring in the animation that you've included in your PowerPoint presentation, they will be imported and work on your Captivate project, but you won't be able to edit them directly in Captivate. If you import your slides as background image, any animation in your project will not be imported. You also won't be able to edit the background slide images directly from Articulate. If you do need to edit your slides later, you can go back to your PowerPoint presentation and edit your slides from there. Come back to Captivate and import a single slide or several slides that you've changed and edited and then delete the ones you don't want. Now you'll have a choice on whether to advance slides on a mouse click or automatically. If you choose on mouse click, Articulate will import any PowerPoint mouse click commands that were necessary for the user to do in PowerPoint. That includes clicks to generate animation. Normally, I don't want this because I want my presentation to look more like a movie, so I choose automatically. Once you've made your choice, click OK. Once it's finished importing, you're ready to edit. There's lots of ways to add extra features to your presentation that will make it more interactive, give you more control over what you want your audience to notice, and opportunities to add much more information for your audience, either for everyone or for only people who click on certain parts of your presentation. Articulate offers excellent and simple tutorials to get you started, which comes with the Articulate program and can explain all of these options in greater detail. I want to quickly show you how easy it is to add narration, which is certainly the option I find most helpful and necessary when importing a PowerPoint presentation. Let me say that adding audio is very simple, and with Captivate, you can make a recording for each slide until you like it. You can also very easily take out any pauses you don't like. There is plenty more you can do, but you don't need to know everything to get started. You will, however, need a microphone. I'm presently using a microphone headset that cost less than $20 and worked immediately when I plugged it into my computer. Here you see the record interface and the red button, record, you click when you're ready to record your voice. And when you're done, you click the blue square button. You can then play it back. If you don't like it, record again and the first recording is gone forever. So don't click it unless you're sure you don't like it. Articulate will record your voice and make sure it's calibrated correctly. 
When you're happy with your recording, click the Next button to continue with the next slide. Once you're done, make sure to click the OK button and not just close the box or you'll lose the recording session. Unfortunately, it's a mistake that I've made all too frequently. Once you've done that, you'll want to check how your slides and audio work together and you want to go to the Preview button and click it. You'll see several options. You can play just the slide, which is the fastest way to do a quick check. You can choose to see the whole project, but that takes a little while to load. You can also see the rest of the project from the slide you are in, or just see how the next five slides integrate. You can also see how it will look in your web browser. By the way, remember to save your project. If you're happy with your presentation, you're ready to publish. Publishing means translating your Adobe Captivate project into formats that anyone, even those without Captivate, can watch. After you publish, you will have two projects, one in Captivate, which you can edit and republish anytime, and the second, which will be in the format you designated when you published, and is usually not what you want to edit. The way you will publish depends on how you will be using your video, and which Articulate version you have. I recommend seeking specific tutorials for exactly your situation. For instance, Articulate 4 allows you to publish in a format perfect for uploading onto YouTube, while the version I am using, Articulate 3, requires extra conversion steps. For now, we're going to look at publishing to an LMS site. First, we'll click the Publish button, and you'll get the Publish box. The option you see on the top is the Flash, or .swf option. And that's often the best format to use when uploading to the Internet to your learning management system or website. Adobe Connect is an Adobe product. Standalone is an option if you would like to generate a CD-ROM or other portable presentation. You can also choose an email or print format. And finally, the FTP option allows you to directly up upload your presentation onto your site. For now, I'll choose Flash. I'll also choose to zip the files to prepare it for later upload onto my site. I'd also change the title, which I didn't do here, and then I'd click the Publish button. Next, I will see several windows informing me of the progress of the formatting. And click the Close box. Yes, it's true. It's just that simple. It's pretty captivating.